everybody, it's Mrs. Hill. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I am reading a story titled, Good Night, My Home, by Felicia Richards. Hey, everybody. Your home is the most precious place of your life, where you spend warm and happy moments with your family and pets. You should appreciate what you have and keep it safe. But one tiny thing you might forget to check could put your home in danger, and we wouldn't want that to happen, would we? Little Stephen has safety tricks to share with you. Follow his routine every night before going to bed and enjoy the sweetest dreams, knowing your home is safe and sound. Love our author, Felicia. Let's get started. A young boy named Stephen lives in a pleasant house at the edge of a small town. Stephen smiles often because he is healthy and thankful for everything he has. I'll never get the ball past you, his dad says every time they play soccer. You always know what's happening around you. Stephen's dog, Nellie, is very smart. She can open doors and cupboards. Nellie helps mom take care of Stephen's baby sister, Shay. Dad built their house. Together, the family made their big garden beautiful. Tom, their cat, also helped with the digging. Safety is important to Stephen's family. The swimming pool has a fence around it. This way, the pets and Shay do not fall into the water. When the weather is warm, Stephen lets his hamster Munchkin play in the grass. Chee chee! Munchkin makes cute sounds as the grass tickles her tummy. Today was a good day for Stephen. Now he rests on the sofa before bed. Stephen watches his favorite cartoons like he does every evening. Shay is already asleep in her bed. Dad works in the study, drawing pictures of a house he will build for his friend. Mom relaxes in a warm bath. Stephen sits up, stretches, then yawns. I better get to bed. I'll need a lot of energy for school tomorrow. He remembers the safety tips he learned at school today. Hmm, tonight I can help mom and dad by making sure the house is safe while we sleep. Stephen is done watching TV and listening to the radio. Good night, TV and radio. Thank you for the shows and music, he says, making sure they are turned off. He sees the windows are still open and closes them. Good night, windows. Thank you for letting the sunlight and breeze come into the house today, he says. Stephen then pulls the curtains closed. Good night, curtains. Thank you for giving us privacy and shade when we need them. Seeing the door is unlocked, he turns the key. Good night, door. Thank you for stopping strangers from coming into our house. Stephen picks up his milk glass and cookie plate. He then sets them in the kitchen sink. Good night, tableware. Thank you for holding my food. In the kitchen, he sees the butter, cheese, and jam on the table. Stephen returns them to the fridge. Good night, food. Thank you for the best sandwiches. Stephen knows Nellie may try to sneak a snack from the fridge. He locks it with a tiny key. Good night, fridge. Thank you for keeping our food cold. He sees there is no water in the bowls for Nellie and Tom. Stephen fills the bowls so they do not get thirsty. Good night, bowls. Thank you for holding my pet's water. Stephen then makes sure the taps in the kitchen are tight, so no water is wasted. Good night, taps. Thank you for giving my family water to drink and wash. On Stephen's way to his room, he blows out candles in the glass holders of the passageway. Good night, candles. 
Thank you for lighting the way. Through the window, he sees a dark sky outdoors. He switches on the garden lights. Good night, lights. Thank you for keeping our garden safe. Stephen looks toward the shelf and sees a book on the floor. He places the book back on the shelf. Good night, books. Thank you for teaching us new things. Up the stairs he walks. Stephen sticks a finger in the plant pots to see if they were watered. The soil is damp. Good night, plants. Thank you for making our house pretty. In the bathroom, he brushes his teeth and then places his brush in the holder. Good night, toothbrush. Thank you for keeping my teeth clean. Stephen also washes his face and dries it with a towel. He pulls the towel straight so it will dry. Good night, towel. Thank you for helping me dry after a wash. He sees the medicine cupboard door is open and closes it. I don't want Tom to get my vitamins, Stephen says. Good night, cupboard. Thank you for storing our vitamins and first aid kit. In his room, Stephen makes sure Munchkin has clean water in her cage. He then covers the cage with a blanket so she will be warm. Good night, sweet Munchkin. Thank you for being my friend. Wearing pajamas, he switches his smartphone off so it will not disrupt his sleep. Good night, smartphone. Thank you for letting me talk to friends who are far away. Stephen then closes his eyes. Good night, my home, he says as he floats happily to dreamland. Mom is now ready for bed. She walks through the house and sees what Stephen has done. Oh my goodness, Stephen is so mindful and helpful. After kissing Shay goodnight, Mom and Dad kiss the sleeping Stephen goodnight too. Thank you, my son, Dad says. He kisses Stephen on his forehead. He'll grow to be a fine young man, says Mom. She pulls the covers over his shoulders. Good night, Stephen, they whisper softly as they switch off the lights. Sweet dreams. Hi, friends. I hope you love that story. And I also hope that you learned useful things that you can do around your house just like Stephen. I know I learned things that I can do to be helpful, like putting food away or my dishes in the sink, making sure that things are unplugged and locked. And I know that that will help keep my family safe and it helps me be a helper around the house. So I hope that you learn some things you can do to help your family too. I will link all of the author's information in the description box below where you can read this book again and purchase it for your very own library at home. Thank you so much for listening and I can't wait for you to come back and listen to another story.